updated. We ask questions about joint rule 10.5 and California fiscal bills. First, what does joint rule 10.5 of the California legislature's joint rules provide? Joint rule 10.5 specifies guidance that is provided to the Office of the Legislative Council or OLC when determining whether a bill should be keyed as a fiscal bill. The keying of the fiscal bill is done by the attorneys in the Office of Legislative Council. What happens if a bill is keyed fiscal? If the OLC determines that a bill is fiscal in nature, then the measure will be re-referred to the Appropriations Committee in each house. About 80% of all introduced bills in the California State Legislature are fiscal bills. They are keyed fiscal. What happens if a bill is not keyed fiscal? If OLC determines that a bill will not uh, be fiscal, then the measure will be sent only to a policy committee's uh, policy committee or committees. Uh, and then for the hearing, unless the appropriations committee may request from the rules committee a re-referral, in which case generally the rules committee grants that referral. What is the text of Joint Rule 10.5? Well, it actually is called re-referral to fiscal and rules committee. 10.5 says, a bill shall be re-referred to the fiscal committee of each house when it would do any of the following. One, appropriate money. Two, result in a substantial expenditure of state money. Three, result in a substantial increase or loss of revenue to the state. Four, result in substantial reduction of expenditures of state money by reducing, transferring, or eliminating any existing responsibilities of any state agency program or function. It also says that concurrent and joint resolutions shall be re-referred to the fiscal committee of each house when they contemplate any action that would involve any of the following, any substantial expenditure of state money, any substantial loss of revenue to the state. Also, the above requirements do not apply to bills or concurrent resolutions that contemplate the expenditure or allocation of operating funds. And then it concludes with the rule may be suspended in either house as to any particular bill by approval of the Committee on Rules of the House and two-thirds vote of the membership of the House. Next, what is the first instance when a bill will be keyed fiscal by OLC? First, a bill that appropriates money is a fiscal bill. This is easy to ascertain because the language of the bill would actually appropriate a specified sum of money. What is the second instance when a bill will be keyed fiscal by the OLC? Second, a bill that results in a substantial expenditure of state money is a fiscal bill. What does expenditure of state money mean? While this is not a definition, well, sorry, while there is not a definition of this phrase, on occasion the OLC determines that a bill will not result in the expenditure of state monies under proposed law change. For example, a department's workload will remain the same with additional cases being addressed when the courts receive them, and so there's no additional expenditure of state money. What is the third instance when a bill will be keyed fiscal by OLC? In the third instance, a bill that results in a substantial increase or loss of revenue to the state is a fiscal bill. This type of bill is relatively easy to determine, such as a tax bill that creates a new tax credit or exemption and that will result in the loss of revenue. Or a bill that repeals a tax credit or exemption, and in that case, the bill results in an increase of revenue. And what is the fourth instance when a bill will be key to fiscal by the Office of Legislative Council? A bill that results in reduction of expenditures of state money relating to a state agency program or function is a fiscal bill. Such a measure should be easy to determine because the bill would specify that it reduces or eliminates or transfers an existing program agency or function of the state. And finally, can Joint Rule 10.5 be suspended? Yes, it may be suspended in either house on a particular bill by approval of the Rules Committee of the House, as well as a two-thirds vote of the members of that house.